Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is the all new Atlas Canyon. And I'm really excited to show you this product today. So let's take a look at it. Now this is the prototype packaging, uh, so it's not indicative of what you would get. So why am I excited? Well, first, let me show you, it's in a new four by five package and not the, the uh, typical four by four. It's a little bit wider, a little bit more IO. Also inside of the package, you would be getting a 65 watt power brick and some mounting screws. The Atlas Canyon comes in three variants. It comes in a Pentium, it comes in a dual core Celeron, and comes in a quad core Celeron. So let's take a look at some of the features. Looking at the far left side of the front, you can see the illuminated power button. And so this will indicate when the unit's on or in standby. We have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit USB ports. We have a new port I'll explain in just a second. And we have our microphone and our stereo headphone jack. What is behind cover number one? This is the front panel header. Now, typically the front panel header is inside the unit. And if you want to do remote switching, you have to run a cable through the box. Now you have front panel access to the front panel header. So there's a couple of pins that are used to cycle the power onto the unit. There's two pins that show you drive activity. There's two pins that show you that the unit is on. And then the, uh, the standby uh, LED. And so you can directly access these for your embedded applications without having to take the unit apart. On this side, you can see there's large ventilation holes. And on the other side, we also have our Kensington lock. Looking at the back, we have our 19 volt power connector and above it, you can see that there's a screw hole. And what this is, is for cable retention. So there would be a strap. You would run your power cord through the strap and tighten it down. And then it would prevent the power cord from being unplugged accidentally. We have an HDMI 2.0B that supports uh, 4K at 60 Hertz. We have two more USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, USB ports that give you 10 gigabit, and we have two USB 2.0 ports. We have gigabit Ethernet, and we have a full size DisplayPort 1.4 connector. And you can run two more 4K monitors off this. Now, I know that Intel's documentation says that this will drive two 4K monitors. Simply Nook is saying that it will drive three 4K monitors, and we've confirmed it will drive all three 4K monitors and all three at 60 Hertz. And as you can see along the top here, we have our hot air ventilation. This is not a, 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 a heat or fanless version. It is a cooler version and that's where the heat comes out. Now, taking a look at the bottom. If you remember Chaco Canyon, we had this cool feature where we had multiple ways of mounting. So we have our standard Visa screw holes. We have our key, uh, keyhole slots. Now what the keyhole slots are for is you drill a couple of screw heads into a, uh, um, a plywood board that's in your mechanical closet and you hang the unit on it. And this is the standard way that you hang equipment in a mechanical closet. And then the third method is we have these little zip tie loops so that you can run zip ties through all four of these or one or two of them as you need. And you can zip tie, tie it around poles. So you can put this up in plenum spaces. Uh, you can put this in, um, like if you have a marketing booth and you're mounting a bunch of stuff, you can just quickly run some zip ties through here and zip tie it to something. All right, and then we're gonna take the, the uh, screws out. As you can see, we have these screws on the bottom to hold the bottom plate out. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. The back is held on with four number one Phillips head screws. Now, uh, as a reminder, I am wearing my anti-static smock and wrist strap, and I'm also on an anti-static workstation here. Anytime you take 
uh, the back off or bottom off of a system, you can expose it to static discharges that can destroy the electronics. So please always uh, let Simply Nook do this part for you or wear the appropriate gear. All right, so taking a look at the inside, we have two DDR4 sockets. This, the, this Celeron and Pentium and both the dual core and quad core Celeron all support up to 16 gigabytes of memory. So you can order it with four, eight, or 16 gig of memory. There is a 2230 wireless radio uh, option uh, for the motherboard. It's included with the system. And this is wireless AC plus Bluetooth 5.1. And the antennas are built in the lid as you would expect. There's also a 2280 socket and this supports uh, SATA and PCI Express SSD. So this is the first Celeron and Pentium uh, Intel Nook product that supports PCI Express SSDs. Uh, you can see that the BIOS is socketed on this one because this is a prototype. And you can see the BIOS reset jumper here. So if you ever need to clear your password, uh, you might be instructed to take the bottom off and move this jumper temporarily. So I'll give you a moment to take a look at the inside and then we'll wrap this up. Now you can see why I was so excited to show you the new Atlas Canyon today. Replacing both the Arches in June and offering another processor option, as well as all of the mounting options, head over to simplynook.com at the link below and custom configure yours specifically for your needs. Thank you.